Hey guys, it's Krithika. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is not something I ever imagined I'll make, but this has probably been the most requested video on my channel this year. Every time I post a video, I get so many comments asking me to make a video on how to speak better English and how to improve your communication skills. And though I don't think I'm an expert on the topic, I thought why not make a video and share whatever tips I have for you guys. I've gotten comments from so many people telling me they watch my videos to learn English, which is so flattering. So hopefully you find this video useful. I'm going to be sharing six or seven tips which should help you with English or literally any other language for that matter. Also, before I start, a couple of disclaimers. First, this is not a video where I teach you to speak in English. So I'm assuming you already know the language, but you're just looking to improve your English or get better at communicating. I don't think I'm qualified to be teaching a language and nor is it possible through just one video. So this is not a learn English video. It's more of an improve your English video. And second, I'm not in any way implying that you need to learn English or you need to speak the way I do. But since I've gotten so many requests, I figured I'll make this video. So firstly, let me start off by talking about my own journey. I grew up in a Hindi speaking family, but uh, I was born and brought up in Velour in Tamil Nadu and literally no one around me spoke in Hindi. And I went to an English medium school where it was compulsory to speak in English. So because of all of that and the fact that I was into English literature as a person, I really enjoyed that subject. I used to do a lot of debates and participate in like drama and skits and stuff like that. So all of that put together, I think helped me in uh, speaking good English and improving my communication skills, which is why for the longest time when people asked me to make this video, I just felt like I wouldn't have anything to share because this is just something that came naturally to me because of how I was brought up. But at the start of this lockdown, I actually started learning Spanish by myself. And that's when I realized that I do have some tips to share uh, when you're trying to like improve a language and stuff. And just in general, be better at communicating. I think also through YouTube, I've definitely become a better communicator. So the tips that I'm going to be sharing work for any language, no matter which language you're trying to learn. But for the sake of this video, it's going to be English because that's what I get asked about the most. So the first tip, which I think is probably the best way to learn or improve a language is to consume as much content as possible and just immerse yourself in that language. So there are three different ways in which you can consume content. It could be through watching, reading, listening, also writing. That's not really consuming, but yeah, I feel like these are four ways in which you can learn a language. But because we're focusing more on verbal communication in this video, I'm going to stick to the top three. So watching, listening and reading. So when it comes to watching, uh, which I think is my favorite way of consuming content, there's movies, TV shows and YouTube videos, of course, a lot of other options as well. So my first tip is actually to watch as many English movies and English TV shows and stuff. I really enjoy watching comedy shows. So some of the TV shows I've enjoyed are uh, Modern Family, How I Met Your Mother, Friends. This is just like the usual stuff. But of course, there's so many options now and so many different platforms to watch shows on. And if you're more of a movie person, that's a great way to uh, consume content as well. Now, the tip here is actually to leave your subtitles on. I think that's one great way to learn. So when you have your subtitles on, your brain automatically starts to connect what it's listening to what it's reading and I think that's a great way to learn but I also feel like over time when you've watched enough stuff with subtitles on start doing it with the subtitles off because obviously in the real world you're not going to have subtitles when you're talking to people so uh, start off with subtitles on but eventually turn off your subtitles because you'll be understanding the language just based on listening to it rather than reading it and I think that's a good way to like up level your language. Second is listening so if you're commuting or working out or something like that you could listen to music listen to english songs or there's podcasts and audiobooks i personally love listening to podcasts but i think all three are like a great way to learn with music try to uh, learn the lyrics of the song because i feel like that's effective and uh, otherwise just listen to like as many podcasts and audiobooks and lastly is reading which again i enjoy reading so much but if you're not a fan of reading maybe you could try reading shorter storybooks and stuff uh, and if you do enjoy reading or if you're just getting into reading try to find a genre you enjoy so that you actually enjoy Enjoy the process of reading and every time you're reading try to have a dictionary with you of course you don't need a physical dictionary now everyone can just like have dictionary apps on their phones so have that in hand uh, because you'll probably learn a lot of new words this way so you want to make note of all these words that you're learning and I think reading is probably one of the best ways to improve your vocabulary so basically try to consume as much content as possible and try to do a mix of all three of these the second tip is to make a vocabulary journal so you could either have like a physical journal where you write down new words that you're learning or you can just do it on your notes app on your phone but every time you come across a new word learn what that means write it down in your journal or in your notes app and make it a point to use that word a couple of times
times during that day in your communication. So this is something I used to do back when I had my GRE exam. I only studied for it for a week but uh, in GRE you have to learn like so many different words and those are really difficult words as well. So I would just try using these complicated words and sentences and that's how I'd remember them. But this is super effective. Let me show you my notes from when I was learning Spanish. So I have literally made note of all the words that I possibly learned. So of course with English, if you know the language already, you won't have to do this for basic words. But for the more difficult words or new words that you come across, this is a very useful practice. The next tip is to actually make use of websites and apps. We're blessed to be living in this digital age where we can literally learn almost everything online. And I feel like making use of apps to improve your English is very effective. So I was doing some research and trying out a bunch of apps before I could recommend any to you. And I came across this awesome app called Cambly. Cambly is the only app in India that allows one-on-one -on -one private English classes with tutors from native English speaking countries like US, Canada and UK. So I feel like this is especially effective if you know how to read and write the language but you struggle with speaking the language confidently. They also have classes for specific goals. So uh, they have classes for business English, personal development, exam preps for IELTS and stuff like that. And the best part is they have classes 24-7. They have thousands of tutors so you can look at the tutor's profile and pick whichever one you want. I actually just for fun tried out a tutoring session as well to see what it's like. Active and watch your favorite TV shows, maybe uh, Netflix or YouTube. <laughs> yeah, YouTube. <Right? laughs> I've been watching um, a lot of Netflix during the last few months. Lots of shows. And the tutor was really helpful and friendly. So I feel like this is worth trying if you want to uh, improve your communication skills. If you're interested in trying out the app, then I'll leave a link to it in the description box below. And if you use the code KG25, you'll get a 25% discount on any of the three month plans. So be sure to check that out. The next tip, which kind of sounds counterintuitive, is to just communicate in English. So I feel like if you want to improve your communication skills, you need to start communicating with other people in English because you only get better with practice. So if you're not very confident yet, uh, you can start off by talking to someone who you're comfortable with. It could be like someone in your family or a friend. Or in fact, if any of your friends also want to improve their English, then you can be each other's accountability buddies and you can just like practice with each other and also like send voice notes on WhatsApp to each other. I actually used to do this for Spanish. And if you don't have anyone, then you can just talk to the mirror. Think of like a topic and just like talk uh, for like a minute or five minutes in front of the mirror. I feel like that's good practice as well. Something else you could also do which is similar to this is just talk to a camera. I know that may be awkward, but just use your phone camera and decide like a topic and just talk for like a minute or two minutes or whatever duration you want and do this every day and uh, look back at the clip and evaluate yourself and see where you feel like you need to improve. If you have someone uh, who you're comfortable with, you could also show it to them and ask for their feedback. So that's a great way to start feeling more confident. In fact, if you're trying to get into public speaking, I think all of these things help as well. So if you want to be a public speaker or even for that matter, just like give a speech in your school or college or, you know, address a bunch of people at work in a meeting, then doing these things will make you feel a lot more confident. Another thing that you can do is actually just communicate uh, with yourself in English. So basically try to think in English and I feel like anytime you want to get better at a language, if you consciously choose to start thinking thoughts in that language, you automatically get better at it. So try doing that as well and over time when you're a little more confident, uh, you can start communicating with others in English. I know it can be intimidating but honestly English is just a language at the end of the day and the whole purpose of a language is to communicate your thoughts and ideas. Each one of us is comfortable in some language or the other so for me it's English for you it may be some other language and no one language is better than the other so if you're talking to other people I know it's natural to feel intimidated but there's really no need to be and if at any point in the conversation you don't understand what someone is saying or they use a word that you've never heard of before you can honestly just stop them and tell them to explain what they're saying you could say something like sorry I didn't catch that could you please repeat what you said or you could just be like Sorry, I don't understand that word. Could you please explain what you're trying to say? There's literally no shame in that and that's how you learn and improve your language. Next, let's talk about pronunciation and accent. So I feel like I'm the kind of person who if I talk to someone for a couple of hours, I'll just start talking like them. It could be any accent. Uh, I've spoken to people with like a Tamil accent and suddenly my thoughts are in like a Tamil accent. I've watched shows 
with like a British accent and my thoughts are suddenly in like a British accent. I don't think it affects the way I speak but my thoughts automatically start uh, happening in that accent and in fact I think when I moved to Delhi first for college uh, I remember the first time I came back home my mom was just like what happened to your Hindi suddenly my Hindi had improved so much. So the whole point of this rant was that if you want to pick up like a certain accent uh, or if you like the way someone talks then listening to the way they talk really makes a difference. So if you enjoy someone's way of talking and how they communicate not just the accent just like the kind of words they say and how they communicate just keep listening to them over and over again and I feel like subconsciously you'll start adopting some of those things I know this kind of sounds like imitation but I'm not exactly asking you to imitate but just by listening to someone I feel like you'll have your own version of their way of speaking if that makes sense and there's honestly no harm in imitating I don't think anyone can perfectly imitate someone so you'll end up with your own version of like whatever you're trying to aim for. So make a list of people whose uh, way of talking you admire and start watching like more of their videos if they're podcasters try listening to more of them and you don't need to consciously change the way you talk to match theirs but I feel like subconsciously it will sort of start happening. And talking about pronunciation I feel like that's a very important thing in a language because obviously you want to pronounce words the way it's meant to be pronounced. So for that thankfully we have access to the internet on our phones and stuff so just google it uh, or if you have like a dictionary app usually dictionary apps have like a pronunciation as well so if you don't know how a certain word is pronounced then just google it it's as easy as that and the final tip is to just have fun with it at the end of the day like i said this is just a language it's just to communicate your thoughts and ideas better and the whole process can either be fun or intimidating depending on how you approach it so rather than making it like a very daunting process and feeling like oh my god i'm not good enough because my english isn't good you can have a more positive approach and just think of this whole process as a fun new thing that you're trying to learn and I think uh, that will make for a much better experience and as with anything you can't uh, expect to change overnight so just focus on learning new things every day little by little and I'm sure like a year or even a few months from now your English or whatever language you're learning will be so much better so just keep at it focus on learning something new each day and also keep practicing and talking to other people or talking to the mirror or the camera and over time I'm sure you will improve. So I hope you found this video useful. Those were my tips. Why am I falling down on this beanbag? <laughs> if you have any questions, leave them down below and I'll try to answer them. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, press the bell button and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!